Hello, hello, YouTube. Hey, what's up? I'm I'm back, and I'm doing again a game that does not actually have achievements, but I like 100%, you know, completed the things it wanted me to do this time. So I'm going to do it, but I don't know what to call this video completion review. I guess I don't I don't know. But today the game is uh, Mario Wonder, new uh, platform in Mario game, and the actual like requirement was to get all six medals at least for the save file. Uh, it lists on the save file, it also lists on your name. If anybody else sees you online, it'll have six medals. Um, I wanna lead off out of the gate that I'm probably gonna say like spoiler stuff, so if you're worried about it, probably wait until you know you got further in or you're done because I don't know how to describe how to do anything other than one medal without telling you too much but yeah so the new Mario game a lot of people I think look at it think it's silly because of like the elephant power up and it has a couple other power ups like the bubble one and the drill one but playing this I think it's really good and I think the like the game's main gimmick of the the flowers doing like the wonder effect to levels I think it's also really nice it feels new it feels like fresh and I really appreciate Appreciate that uh, out of this game because most of these levels feel like they have it like two levels. You could skip like the Wonder Flower entirely. But you don't want to do that because you you want as many of those seeds as you can get. And most levels, basically, yeah, most levels have two seeds. A few have three. Some of them usually are just shorter levels only have one or there's a certain reason why the level would only have one but you know air fortress levels and castle places will have two seeds probably more than you'd think they would uh and you, you you're collecting them so that you can get through the levels and they're it looks sometimes like it's kind of open world it's not really i know they want to give you the impression that it is but it's still really linear kind of reminds you you know like pokemon scarlet it was like you had the impression you could do anything you wanted whenever but you couldn't really because if you didn't have the gym badges your pokemon would listen to you so you still had to do that anyway you couldn't just skip everything like there was a point in the game i think around the last three worlds where it technically let you choose which level you wanted to go to but why would you go to the hardest level when you had to do them all anyway like i it, it seemed confusing that it would even bother to let you pick since you had to do them all, uh, it didn't matter which three you did. The most people aren't going to go to the hardest level and then walk work backward. That would be strange. But yeah, most of the levels, it's it's Mario. It's what you wanted out of Mario. Precise platforming, really good controls. Everything works the way you think it would work. It's just they have the the nice wonder effects that create different levels within the level. Uh, most levels have you know the ten coins. It's got they have these little purple coins which. Instead of, I guess, bigger normal coins, this time they're these purple coins. I don't remember the last previous game so well, but I remember they had big coins that were just like larger standard coins or something like dragon coins. I don't remember. And this one gives you like 10 purple coins when you pick them up. Every level's got, I think, every level has three, I think. And you spend the coins in the shop, which most of the time you, the shops have wonder seeds, which you will eventually want. You can buy one ups from the shop, but I wouldn't recommend it since it's Mario and you know well it's Mario you could just pin a Koopa shell in a corner and jump on the Koopa shell until you have 99 lives it's the same as it's ever been with it. so I wouldn't buy one ups from the shop unless you're rolling a dough but trust me you won't be it's not it didn't go that way uh but yeah they have like standees because this game is you, you can play standees while you're in a level and you don't have to do it. you never really have to do it but i think that they're really helpful especially when you leave the online thing on because that's another thing the game does is that you can connect to players online and it will put like player ghosts of other people playing the other characters that are also playing the same level as you and it does not hurt you whatsoever to have that on in fact most of the time it helped me get through sections that i just didn't want to do or it I died because I made a mistake and having the other players help me since they can revive you and if you play standees other people can use your standees to revive themselves and you don't have to do it but you don't really have a reason not to do it since it's just you being helpful to random players 
and I always found myself trying to place them in places that I thought would be helpful to somebody if they find it. But the standee shop just sells you different standees because every time you place one, it just picks a random one and you can just get a bunch of random ones. But there are like, I didn't count them, but there are a bunch of characters. There's a bunch, probably 10. I don't know. There were, there were 144 standees and I don't remember how many there are per person. 12? Does that mean there's 12 characters? I don't want to do that math that fast. Maybe. Um, you could also pick, because there's like four Yoshis and then there's Nabbit and the Yoshis are special because I don't know, the Yoshis jump really high i don't remember exactly i know nabbit doesn't take damage maybe the yoshis don't take damage they're basically assistant characters like they've been in the past but i beat this entire game just using mario because i'm i don't care i i didn't need them although sometimes i felt like i did to be honest but if we're if we're talking about like what the actual like completion bit of the game is the since there are no like achievements when you finish the story like you 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 kick bowser out of the castle you you beat bowser you get one medal so anybody that has one medal finish the story which is you know you get all the royal seeds you challenge bowser and you beat him you get one for that the other five come from basically completing aspects of the game every level has a wonder seed so there's a medal for getting all of the wonder seeds and there's a medal for reaching the very top of the flagpole for every single level there is a medal for collecting every 10 point in every single level uh, there is a medal for getting every single badge which I forgot to talk about, but that's okay. And then there is a final one that was for buying all of the standees from the shop, which is actually the last one that I got because I didn't know that it would be that you would need that many purple coins to do that. But suffice to say, the rest of it is not that hard. The game gives you like a level menu where you could just look at the level and it will either have a green check mark or it won't. And if it doesn't, you miss something, go back and look at it. It's not an impossible game, it's Mario. There, if you know something's in the level, just poke around in the level until you find it. Even better, most players will drop standees or you'll watch them find secrets for you. So you just pay attention to what other people are doing and they'll often just find it. And it's it's very helpful. But the, the spoilerish part that I need to be specific about is that once you, f you... You could find this at any point, but it's special world. There's like a ninth, tenth, I don't remember what number. I don't want to be specific. Don't come after me. The special world has like secret entrances in every single part of the game. And you don't get royal seeds from special world, but if you've played Mario before, you know what I'm talking about. Special world is the extra challenge that you have to find a way into. And those levels are a little testy. Like there are levels that you can just find scattered throughout like the base game where it shows you the difficulties a bit high and you'll just kind of be like, oh wow, I'm actually like losing some lives here. This is this is tricky. But special world goes a step up from tricky into like, oh, I'm really gonna have to actually try here. Cause you'd think Mario couldn't be that hard, but go all the way back to the original like lost levels bit, tell me that it's not hard. Um, special world starts to kind of test you a little bit. To finish special world, when you do like the last, it was the final level, and then there's the final, final badge test. Those two are actually kind of hard. I'm not going to act like it's the worst level I've ever seen somebody make in Mario. I mean, we have two different Mario Maker games, so there were worse levels. But for a mainline game that I haven't played a bunch of these, I'm not convinced that like if I had my dad play this, he could do that. For example, like it is it is a step above what you'd think that it would be at, and it is surprisingly hard. They're doable, but they're like, you're going to have to practice and especially going into the final badge challenge, uh, you're going to want to stock up on lives before you go in there. And you're going to want to be kind of patient with yourself about how tough that last challenge really is. But I think you can get the Wonder Seed thing before you ever go into the very last challenge, but I don't remember. I remember I had five badges or I had like three badges before I did it, but it also had the same requirements. It had 10 coins, it had a flag, and it gave you a seed. So I don't know if it really like... I, Maybe I got the badges wrong because it gave me some before I did that. I shouldn't have that many, but either way, you need to do it. Uh, before I forget, the badges are like um, extra modifiers. 
within the level. Usually they change like movement, like Mario gets a little hat lighter instead of like your spin move that you're so used to having from the last few of these. And the final level level that's hard is because it's a collection of like every, oh, okay, not every, but a lot of wonders from the previous levels in the entire game. And they're all just lumped together and it just shotguns a bunch of them in a row. And it's hard to know what to do. And it's very sparse. I don't know if it has a checkpoint in it at all, but most of the levels previously, there were also badge challenges to get back badges or they forced you to use a specific badge it was just a short level that tried to teach you how to use the badge and the badge challenge level almost the very final 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 badge challenge level, almost had me tweak it like the wonder one the final wonder level was not easy the last one was making me furious because i went into 99 lives and left with like just barely 60 and I don't know if it was just fatigue or whatever, but it is an endurance test, it feels like. It is a gauntlet, but if you're going into it, it helps to remember there are actually checkpoints in the badge one, but it's like every three badges, because what it'll do is it's going to cycle badges on you. So every little section is one badge, and then you get to a new section, it'll be a different badge, which sounds harder than it is, unless you hate certain badges. It won't do the blue ones, but as far as I know, it does all of the other ones. Like the dolphin kick one started to get kind of tricky, Later on, I thought the Jet Run badge would be hard, but Jet Run wasn't really the issue. Um, I think the one I had the most trouble with was the spring one that makes you like constantly jump, the bouncy feet spring one, because at that point, you had to do two sections, and then you had to do the spring one, and by the time you reach the, the third section, you haven't had enough practice at the third section, but I've had a million hours of practice on the first one, and every time it would set me back, I would just get furious, because it was just one mistake and you die. You're sent back. One mistake, you die. You're sent back. Uh, just to stick it out. If you can do that level, just stick it out because after that, odds are the only thing you did do was grind purple coins for um, to buy all the standees because who cares about owning that many standees? But it's a thing you have to do for the badge. Uh, so just a pro tip: if you need to get coins for the badges, oop, my computer is trying to lock itself. If you need to get coins for the badges, do like Jet Run One Challenge or something because it's it's a really fast way to do it it just takes you just have to keep doing it especially after you pick up the 310 coins then you just hold on we are back okay I'm back actually oh my okay no. uh it's like the first time i've had to stop the recording randomly but i think i was talking about if you do jet run one and you pick up the 10 coins you already picked up 10 coins they don't reward 10 in once they're right out they award like three and i had to go back to jet run and i just ran that level while i was watching youtube and i did that till i got the remaining um standees money uh which by the way on special world when you reach the middle part and you go to the store you could spend 30 coins instead of 10 and you can buy standees for characters that you definitely don't have the standee for which is what i would do that's what i did because i'm not buying the 10 to have it randomly roll i never even bothered to look at the stats on that so maybe it's better to do that i don't know but i didn't want to because i knew i could run a level a few times and get enough but yeah i feel like i took a break and then i forgot that i was supposed to talk about something but yeah once you once you let me think the flag poles reach the top of the flag poles it's easy you got to get all the 10 oh yeah you got to get all the 10 coins there's a trick that i would suggest you use for the 10 coins which is called don't go back and play the level as long as you pick up the coin and you don't press start and hit reset level you will have picked up the coin so if you run past one just die and just die a few times and try to go back and get it now on any level except really really hard levels like special world i it, you don't it doesn't matter you can go back and do them they're not hard but on like special world especially the like musical time jump one i didn't feel like trying to get coins and complete the level so every time i reached one of the coins i would just get the coin to die because if you let the level naturally reset you and take a life, you will still actually have that coin in your possession no matter how far back it resets you. So I would just work through part of the level to get the coin, and then when you had all three coins was when I was actually trying to finish the level, and that way you had all the coins by default, and it was just a quick way to not have to go back to those levels. And that's what I especially did on Badge Run, 
on the very, very final one and the last two, really, both of them. If you see a coin, you, you just get it. Figure out a way to get it because you're not going to want to probably replay those levels. I didn't, especially the last one after I was making me really mad yesterday. I did not want to replay it, so I was made sure to get all of the purple coins when I could get them. And I just, again, on that last level, you better, you better do your best to get the flag at the end because if I remember correctly, the badge, the last badge is the invisibility badge. And if you have to do any of the invisibility challenges leading up to that, it's not fun. I don't like it. There are some tricks to figure out where you are while you're invisible. I think a lot of the previous levels, there might have been a way for you to hold an item, which is a dead giveaway where you are. You're holding an item. I I tried to press like the emojis because they are they persist a little bit, but if you get a little too button happy with the emojis, you're going to miss jump something. So if anything, the badge level just gets harder and harder and harder until it gets to the invisibility one, which is the last one. But the invisibility one was really, really, really tough. It's just, again, it's not the hardest thing on the planet, but it definitely took me more than an hour to beat that last gauntlet just out of failing, trying and failing and trying and failing and trying and failing. And it took the most lives from me of any level in the game. You didn't think Mario had a reputation for being an easy game, but at that point, it's just not easy anymore. I'd almost, I'd, I'd risk calling it hard, but a lot of people are just going to be like, oh, it's, it's, it's not actually hard. Actually, I play like Super Mario Maker. These aren't hard, actually. Shut up. To, to normal people, these levels are difficult, especially Special World and especially trying to finish Special World. Uh, I think there was one more thing to note, which was that you get like little heart points for helping other players and i did not max that out because you don't get anything for maxing out like the heart points for helping people reviving them and then finishing levels with them you don't actually get anything for maxing that out i did pass like a yoshi at one point that had maxed it out which is crazy to me he had six badges and maxed all his hearts out like i don't i'm not doing i don't i did not do that i'm not gonna keep i'm not gonna do that it would take way 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 too long for me to do that i don't care if you get all six badges you get a special start screen that's black uh, and you get the thing that says you have all six badges. That's what you get, really. And it's just a 100% safe file that I went for. But yeah, Mario Wonder, genuinely, I really like it. It looks silly. I think it's it's worth having. It's, a, it's, it's worth being listed as a Mario game, and it works as an additional platformer because it feels fresh, it feels different, and I like that. Especially, you know, like the Bowser Jr. castles, while having a lot of the same concept, all feel unique and different. I really like that. Just overall, really good game. Really good, really good. I liked it. I liked every bit of it, except that last bit that made me mad. But even then, I was it's just because it was hard. I really enjoyed it. So here you go. This is whatever this video is, the completion review, I guess, because it's not achievements, but I don't know what to title this for Mario Wonder. If you got a game you want me to try, uh, or you know, you got any comments, just tell me. So it's helpful. Interact with things. It's useful for the algorithm because the algorithm sucks. But anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.